give it a minute. And when you release the screen, I'll start. Yes. All right. Thank you so much to all Alaskan students for attending today. Um, I am the facilitator here at UAA. My name is Alexis, and I am just going to give a few uh, brief housekeeping notes before I turn it over to uh, UAF Community and Technical College. So the first one is, how do you ask questions? So you are going to go to the bottom of your Zoom screen and click the Q&A button, and that is how you're going to type in your questions today. Your camera and microphone are automatically off. You're muted and your video is off, so you don't have to worry about that. We also want you to know that this is one of many college presentations that are happening. You can check out the full schedule at strivescan.com forward slash Alaska, which is the same area where you registered. And all sessions are being recorded and will be available at that same website where you registered. So you can go ahead and view this later um, if you want to re-review. And so with that, I'll pass it off to our panelists. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Rick McDonald. Let me get the screen up here. And we are from uh, CTC, Community Technical College at UAF. And we have lots of programs. Uh, you can see, I'm just going to give a brief scroll. A few of us are represented here tonight, but we have a vast array of programs here in Fairbanks for you to come and get the job skills you need to get, to get a, a great start after school. I am with the uh, information technology program right here. So I'm going to talk to you for just a couple minutes about that. And uh, well, let me come right to another screen. We have an IT specialist program. And in this program, you learn the, the skills you need for an entry level computer job. You can be tech support, network engineering, and then we also offer cybersecurity. So I'm not sure how well you can see this screen, but I'll bump it up just a little bit. Um, but as you can see, we have computing uh, associate degrees in computing technology, network and system admin, and cybersecurity and network administration. The thing about it is that's, that's unique for us in the state of Alaska is we are online only at this time. We don't have any current plan to return to face-to-face -face instruction but we've developed virtual labs with real equipment and you can complete our entire degree online from wherever you are. So that is the, uh, that's why we're, our classes are full and running strong right now. So if that is, that appeals to you wherever you're living, then that is something uh, you will want to um, remember. So what is, you know, these are the, in the computing technology, this is a basic entry level uh, degree to get you started in some in a tech support position or an IT specialist. Network and system administration is about managing networks in places, in hospitals, uh, for the military, what have you. But, uh, you know, you, you, you would start supervised with a job like this. And then the network and cybersecurity, we, we want to talk a bit about that because that is where the big demands are in Alaska right now. And they're really well, they're really good paying jobs too. Uh, you would need uh, you would need a security plus certificate, which we teach toward in this too. And Professor Mel Dunning has joined us today, and he he is our security specialist uh, teaching those. So I know my time is about up, and uh, I will uh, let others speak. But first, and you'll get this uh, a few times, but I want you to know how to contact us, and and this is to talk about any of our programs. But you can see the uh, webpage ctc.uaf.edu and get all the information you need. I hope you'll contact us with any questions about the program and that you'll want to uh, come join us. And good luck and enjoy your, your college fair. Thank you. Say hi, Mel. <laughs> That's Professor Dunning, and this is one of the few times he'll be muted if you come join our program, trust me. All right. So, who's next? Next we have Dina Waters with our paralegal program. All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dina Waters. I'm the program coordinator of paralegal studies at CTC UAF. Um, 
and of course I'm starting on the wrong screen here. Um, so what is a paralegal? A paralegal is a person who's qualified by education, training, or work experience, who is employed or retained by a lawyer, law office, or government agency, Oops. Um, who performs specifically delegated substantive legal work for which a lawyer is responsible. Um, this profession is, was first recognized by the American Bar Association in 1968, so it's just about 50 years old. We need to recognize as paralegals that we are not lawyers. Uh, we work under the supervision of an attorney. We can't give legal advice or represent clients in court. Paralegals can be employed in private law firms, uh, public sector employment like government, corporations, and other law-related professions. Typical paralegal job duties is to support the attorney uh, in providing legal services. This includes maintaining files, organizing files, conducting investigation and legal research, drafting documents, and preparing the attorney and client for hearings and trial. All of the services that paralegals provide to the client are under the supervision of an attorney, and it's usually at a reduced cost to the client. In the Paralegal Studies program, we have general education requirements. Um, you learn about ethics and professional responsibility, legal research and writing, substantive law topics, hands-on practical paralegal skills, and there is a 150-hour internship in your last semester. This program is 100% online with some synchronous video meetings in the required courses. The program is also approved by the American Bar Association and fewer than 25% of paralegal education programs in the nation are approved by the American Bar Association. One question students are always asking me is how much does an entry level paralegal earn? In general, your starting salary as an entry-level paralegal in Alaska will range between forty and forty-five thousand dollars a year. This depends on what region you're in, what experience you're coming to the job with, and what the job market is like. Additional benefits like insurance or profit sharing and retirement can increase your total compensation. As you can see on the chart, the more experience you get, the more like the more your salary is going to increase over the years. But keep in mind that getting that big salary doesn't always mean that you're going to have job satisfaction. So if you have any questions about the Paralegal Studies Program, um, please contact CTC or visit our website for more program information. Thank you. Alrighty, so next up we have Kathy Winfrey. She is with our Allied Health Programs. Hello, I'm Kathy Winfrey, the Allied Health Programs Director. I do not have a PowerPoint, but I have seven programs that I would like to talk with you about this evening. Um, Allied Health and all of our seven programs are in high demand throughout the state and in Fairbanks as well. We have um, a medical assisting program. You could work in a clinic um, alongside a physician or a provider. It is a certificate degree that you could earn in a year, get your national certification and go to work. We also have that medical assisting program that is an AAS degree as well. And that would take you an additional um, year to obtain the AAS or two year degree. Both of them will get you a job and is in high demand in Fairbanks area currently and in throughout our state. Um, the Certified Nurse Aid Training Program is an approved program through the Alaska Board of Nursing. It's a nine credit course offered two or three times a year. Um, you can get your cert national certification here in Fairbanks and um, get a job as well. And that is in high demand right now um, with our COVID situation, all of healthcare is. Um, that 
CNA as part of the pre-nursing qualification certificate. We have um, that, that certificate to help prepare our um, students that are interested in the RN program. We offer in conjunction with um, UAA, their um, Bachelor of Nursing program here right at CTC. And you can complete your entire four-year degree here in Fairbanks. We um, also have a flow phlebotomy program, which is a program that will teach you how to draw blood. It's um, most all of our programs have classroom skills and clinical hours included in them. So you will get some hands-on experience with the phlebotomy program. It's a one semester program um, and you will do a practicum. You can sit for a national exam and you can also um, often go directly to work. We have um, a billing and a coding occupational endorsement if you'd rather work in a uh, hospital, um, business office, medical records, um, clinics, uh, front office billing, coding, or in the back area. And that healthcare um, reimbursement certificate also leads to a national certification. And then again, um, in most situations, a job as well. We have a dental assisting program with a certificate degree and an AAS. And the dental assisting program um, has skills, didactic, and practicum hours and will often lead to a job in a dental clinic. So we have a number of um, programs with a variety of skills. If you are interested in any of those or just want more information, you can certainly call the 455-2800 for UAF CTC. I'm also going to give you our allied health number up here as well. And that is 455-2823. And Stacy will um, answer questions about our programs up here or schedule appointments. Um, thank you and hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. Next up, we have Sean Walken with our culinary arts program. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, my name is Sean Walkland. I'm with the University of Alaska Fairbanks CTC Culinary Arts and Hospitality Program. Um, so I'm happy to be here, um, answer any questions that you guys uh, may have, and also give you a little bit of information about our program. So I've got a little <clears throat> slideshow here as well. Let me pull that up for you. All right. So we have a really dynamic uh, culinary program here in Fairbanks, uh, which comprehensive covers all the different things that you would need to know uh, to enter or advance inside of the hospitality industry, uh, which is, as many people know, it's a very important uh, part of the Alaskan economy. Uh, we've got uh, tourism, um, all different types of food operations, uh, different things that go on across the state that are always looking for qualified workers. As part of our program, we offer uh, three degrees, two certificates, one in baking and pastry and one in culinary arts, and then an associate's degree in culinary arts and hospitality. Going through our program will help you in your career. It'll prepare you for um, all different types of things, um, from doing tourism to being a manager in, uh, in a hotel or other type of operation, as well as working inside of the kitchen. So this comprehensive culinary education focused on student-centered learning and industry-endorsed outcomes. So we work really closely with uh, our partners in the industry um, that directly hire students as well as let us know what kind of things they're looking for and what kind of skills are, are important um, currently. Okay, graduates may choose from numerous career paths. The AS degree is transferable to the Bachelor's of Hospitality program through UAA, which is an online degree. Um, you, uh, other students also find success moving into a business degree as well, if, uh, if that's a route that they want to pursue. Okay, so for our program, we currently are having in-person classes for all of our cooking activities and lab activities. We do have some uh, hybrid classes that have online components, um, so there's some flexibility there uh, in relation to COVID, uh, but most of our, ex our class experience is going to be in-person still. Uh, class size is limited. Uh, we're, we're really known for our great student to teacher ratio. Students will receive individual attention. Uh, certificates are structured into a 10 month, 10 month completion program. You can complete both the culinary certificate and the baking certificate in a single academic year. 
uh, which is a great uh, program. It's our, our most popular choice. And classes are offered Monday through Friday during the daytime. Um, our cohort based uh, classes usually start in the fall and go through the year, but you can enter in the spring as well and just take a, def a different selection of courses, mm -hmm. uh, but you can enter into the program at any time of the year. Okay, so we've got a variety of different things that we do. So I've got some, uh, some highlights here as well as some images of, from our classes so you can kind of see what our students do as they work through the program. So some of the things that we do in, in order to give the students uh, kind of a real world opportunity to really get out and experience uh, what it's like to uh, be in the hospitality field instead of just in an academic setting. Uh, we have a lunch service in the spring. It's called our Borealis Bistro. So we serve food to real paying uh, customers um, students get to serve and take orders and produce the food as well. So that's a really great opportunity. We also participate in a large number of community events uh, that we'll look at a little bit here. So some of the, the activities that we show through here, um, you know, this is really uh, a mix of academic work and hands-on participation. So you get to do a really uh, great variety of things um, from learning how to butcher animals to do sauce making to bread making and cakes. Um, some of the events we've passed, participated in the past is the, the Hoodoo Choo Choo, which is uh, hundreds of people on a train ride from Fairbanks to Ninana. So students uh, made all the food for that and served during the train ride. We also do many uh, private tasting dinners. Uh, so we'll go to different locations or people's homes and students will help prepare and serve uh, meals. So those are, are great experiences. These are a lot of the different kind of aspects of, of the field where uh, you know, students might really enjoy this type of cooking or this, this style of, uh, of service and create their own private chef business or catering business or incorporate it into a food truck that they build um, or whatever uh, way that it can affect their career. Uh, we also have a large scholarship dinner where it's kind of the, the culmination of a year in our program. Everyone comes together, uh, so it serves a multi-course dinner um, to about 150 to 200 guests. Um, and that's just kind of our, our biggest event of the year. So that's a really fun thing. You get to use all the skills that you developed over the year uh, to create this kind of uh, one of a kind event in Fairbanks. Another unique part of our program is the, the ingredient quality and the ingredient variety that we use. We to put a lot of effort and time into sourcing uh, local ingredients, um, high quality ingredients uh, from around the world and really give our students a chance to uh, experience things um, that they maybe wouldn't see uh, in a different setting. Um, but the core of the mission uh, is skill development, developing marketable skills, skills that will help people's careers, help them be able to get jobs that they might not get otherwise, and be, help them be an asset to whatever, uh, whatever uh, business or uh, employer that they partner with. Okay, and that includes advanced techniques, things that you, um, you know, students graduate and they can uh, share new things that they learn from the school with local employers as well as use these kind of uh, specialized skills uh, to market themselves in a great um, comprehensive way. So here's some examples of these are all dishes made by students. So we really are doing high quality products, high quality recipes, advanced techniques, uh, but it all starts from the beginning of teaching foundational skills um, and, and setting people up for employment. Okay, and I'll get down to the contact information. Um, you can contact our department at 455-2902 um, or myself at 455-2904 or reach us through the CTC website. So thank you very much and thanks for coming. Thank you, Sean. That was great. Next up, we have another Sean, Sean Kelly, with our Aviation and Airframe and Power Plant Department. Thank you. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, like she said, I'm Sean Kelly. I'm with the Aviation and Maintenance Department here at UAFCTC. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about our program. And first off, what you see there on the uh, screen, hopefully, uh, is our 727 that we received from FedEx uh, rolling into Fairbanks International Airport. And that's where we're, we are located is on Fairbanks International Airport. And we get to work on this, uh, this jet throughout the year, which is kind of neat. Uh, we have taken measures uh, so that we can be 100% in person, uh, even with a full class. 
Uh, so we're actually able to uh, keep going with our normal class capacity, even though we have COVID-19. So we do things like wear masks and uh, wear uh, clothing over our normal clothing and things like that. Here you can see a uh, student doing a fabric repair. He's applying some glue to a fabric tail surface that's going to go on an airplane that's being repaired there. So in our program, you learn some really valuable job skills and you learn them quick. Uh, aviation jobs in Alaska are still in very high demand uh, despite COVID-19. And the aviation industry is still expected to be short by about 700,000 or so mechanics by 2038 and a couple of hundred thousand mechanics in the next uh, few years. Our curriculum lasts one full year. So if you came into the program in the beginning of September, you would leave in the beginning of September. Uh, throughout the whole process, you're going to learn a lot of things. So I'll go over just sort of uh, briefly a few of the things that you might learn. You're going to learn about aircraft aerodynamics. So how does an airplane fly? How does a wing create lift? How does a propeller move an airplane forward through the sky? Then we'll get a little bit deeper and focus on the propeller itself. How is it made? How is it repaired? This particular propeller you see on the screen is made out of carbon fiber, and we will actually learn how to do repairs uh, to carbon fiber structures, and you will build uh, an actual carbon fiber and fiberglass composite layup, damage it, and repair it in class. One of the things we deal with heavily is electrical components. So here we've got some vacuum tubes on the right and a transistor on the left. And the stuff on the right is a little bit older technology, but it's still used in some things. So we got to know how it works. Uh, the stuff on the left there, that's a little symbol uh, of a transistor. So that's sort of the newer version of that nice glowing thing on the right. We need to use digital signals uh, in aircraft to do all kinds of things from run computers uh, to autopilots and diagnostic equipment. So we actually have to learn a little bit about digital signals and what makes them all work. We learn about turbine engines because as an aircraft mechanic, you will probably work on many turbine engines, and this is a student uh, from this last year uh, replacing the igniter, uh, that's the thing that lights the fuel, in one of the turbine engines on our 727. And this was actually a, a real problem that we had with this engine, and several groups of students were able to troubleshoot this and figure out exactly what was wrong with the aircraft. And in the end, uh, we were actually able to start the engine uh, because of the repairs that the students made. So that was actually really cool. Uh, during turbine engines class, we make a point uh, to have every student start and run one of the turbines on this jet. Uh, so the full procedure from you get in the airplane, you start turning it on, uh, to actually starting, running up the engine, uh, and shutting it down. That's just one of the things that we do. There's a lot of other skills involved, even more than I've listed on the screen here. Uh, as an aircraft mechanic, you have to learn how a lot of things in the world work. And it pre prepares you for a lot more than just being an aviation maintenance technician. Uh, if you know how the cooling system on an aircraft works, for example, you'll understand how your refrigerator works or how a dehumidifier works. Uh, or or how many other things will work. So that's one of the great things about the program is you don't just learn about airplanes, you learn about uh, machines and technology in general. At the end of the program, uh, you will be eligible to take your FAA exams. And there are a couple of licenses uh, for a mechanic and one is airframe and one is power plant. And you'll be eligible for both at the end of one year which means you get to go and take your tests. 
if you pass your tests with the FAA, then you actually get your license. Uh, a lot of our graduates in most years, and this year included, uh, actually have and had jobs before they ever left school. Uh, so we, we have a really good uh, relationship with our industry partners. They're constantly donating to us and our students are constantly going to work for them. So the prospects are really good. All right, and if you want more information about our program, uh, feel free to contact uh, the UAF CTC main office. Uh, they're at uh, 455-2800. You can go to the website and I will just kind of give you a short uh, little example of how to get there. One second. Oh, it's on screen one. Good. All right. So if you were to search for UAF CTC, you could click on any of these, and then you'll get degrees and programs. Aviation maintenance, as you can see, we offer an Associates of Applied Science and certificate programs. You can click there and you can visit our website uh, or you can go to the contact us portion and it will take you uh, straight to the contact details for CTC itself. Thank you. All right, that's all I've got for you guys. I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks, Sean. Next up is Patty Merritt with our Early Childhood Education Department. I have a PowerPoint for you, but a bunch of my friends showed up and they said, don't show a PowerPoint. There's too many PowerPoints. Tell them about the kids. So I thought, well, I better pay attention because these guys know what they're talking about. It's early childhood. We cover ages from conception all the way up to age eight. And a lot of people don't realize that. Oh, no, no. Tell them about the dogs and the cats. Well, it's true. We do teach science. That includes animals. And we teach music. Put my drummer up there. Um, we do spend a lot of time on babies because uh, brain development starts very early. And so we want to make sure we cover babies from the beginning. And in the course of your studies, you'll be doing a lot with different community helpers like firefighters, my friend Fred here, the firefighter. And you will be looking at cultural practices and holidays. So we want to make sure we uh, get a few of these seasonal characters in here. Before I go on, I'll say that the program is 100% on the web. It was one of the first programs on the web. It's nationally accredited. And we're kind of unique in that we do have a minor. So even if you're studying something else and you want to learn a little bit about kids, you can do our 18 credits on the minor. We also are proposing now a nanny caregiving. That one isn't approved yet, but that will be 21 credits. We have a certificate program and we also have an AAS. Let me show you what I have on a quick slideshow here now that I got those loud mouths out of the way there. So here's the overview of the program. I hope you can see that. It's a very critical profession. This is a profession where you really make a difference. What happens in the first years of life lasts for the rest of life. There's a summary of our different degree programs. This is our early childhood lab school. The vision of the program is to create a world where all children will attain their full potential. And one of the ways we're doing that now is with our genu general education courses. We have three courses that no matter what you're studying, you can use those towards your degree for social science. The Child Development One, the Child Development Two, and Child Guidance. So a lot of parents take our classes even if they're not going to be early childhood educators. But if you do want to be an early childhood educator, here's some of the career options. There's another nice picture there of our lab school. A lot of people only think of preschool, but really it goes from infants all the way up through third grade. 
This program was one of the very first mentioned back when the University of Alaska was started. And we have a first professor hired in 1929 under home economics. There's a picture of our building. This program is offered 100% on the web. It's also usually available 100% in person. Right now, those in-person classes are being done with a Zoom synchronous learning. And there's also an audio blended version. We offer classes spring, summer, and fall. So you can graduate faster if you wanna take those summer classes, even if you can only take a few at a time by having three terms in a year, you can accelerate. Get your advising from an ECE advisor. That's the best way to go. You will need a background check. And the AAS can also build into several different bachelor's degrees at the university. Here's the person to call for scheduling an advising appointment. And we are the test program now for Nanook Navigators. You'll be able to schedule your own appointment through Nanook Navigators at your own convenience. But if you have questions about that, call Kelly. And Anne-Marie and I are both authors of some of the ECE textbooks. So we'll look forward to having you read some of our material and work with you. We have a very strong core of adjunct instructors as well. There are about 12 to 15 people who are teaching in the program. So it gives you a good variety. I might have mentioned the program is nationally accredited. We look forward to hearing from you. That's the Early Childhood Education Program, Community and Technical College, University of Alaska Fairbanks. Bye for now. Thank you, Patty. Next up is Mark Young from our Applied Business Department. Yes, hi, I know it says Mark Young and the screen <laughs> identifies me as that, but this is actually Jean Husingfeld. I'm another one of our Applied Business faculty members and when he sent me the link, evidently I appear to be him. So I apologize for that. But um, I am going to be uh, sharing a, um, uh, a a presentation here, which um, uh, to tell you about two of our programs, we, we do both applied business and applied accounting. Um, and we, as I said, I'm one of three full-time faculty in our department. We also have 20 additional full-time or part-time faculty that come to us with a, a whole array of expertise in various business careers. And I'm gonna start with a bit of an overview of business here. Uh, there's no doubt about it, the business field impacts everyone from small local entrepreneurs to mega corporations. Each contributes to the economy, uh, taxes paid, even the price of groceries. Whoops. Sorry there, trying to advance to my next slide there. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I have two, degree, two programs to tell you about. Both have associate degrees, both have um, certificates, and both have occupational endorsements. And um, the occupational endorsement is our shortest bit of training to advance you through. And um, they all build upon each other. So if you're in the applied business track, you may start with uh, one of the occupational endorsements then build on that to a certificate and um, build on that on top of that to an associate degree as well. Um, the same with applied accounting, you can start as a bookkeeping technician and then advance to certificate and then the degree. Um, they both are going to prepare you for success in uh, business and accounting professions. And um, we also have um, employee uh, micro credentials as well as our um, uh, transcripted tracks. Um, these also are a, a gateway to advanced degrees. If with careful planning with an advisor, you may be able to advance to a four year program in um, on main campus. In addition, um, our program has been recognized as the number one um, online associate degree in business and um, the number one online accounting degree and the number one online 
accounting certificate program. So we've been online for quite a while and all of our classes are available in that um, mode of delivery. Um, as I said, you can transition seamlessly from the occupational endorsement onto the degree. And in our applied business program, we have 13 different concentration options so that you can really customize your education to match your career um, uh, goals. And um, we can also take, if you are in a certificate in a different program at CTC, you can take that certificate, bring it to applied business, we'll add the business skills to that so that then you can graduate with an uh, associate degree in business and then your concentration becomes whatever your certificate area of um, a study was. We also have some minors available for a bachelor's degree students. We have um, an applied business general business minor and one in recreation and guiding and also an, an applied, sorry, an applied um, accounting uh, minor. Um, whoa, I'm sorry, I'm getting off on my uh, um, uh, slides here. Um, in our applied accounting, uh, degree. They also have the opportunity to become proficient in accounting software and spreadsheets. And um, again, you're going to be taught by people that are working in the accounting field as well. Our students come from all over Alaska in uh, 20, at least 23 states and 26 different countries. So it's a really wonderful, rich uh, classroom that we have. Um, and as I said, all the classes are available online, online and some are in person. You can start the program in any semester. And of course, we're located downtown in the uh, CTC building. Uh, there, we have open admission program requirements. And if you take classes that are part of any of our occupational endorsements, those are uh, available at a tuition discount. And of course, the credits are transferable to other colleges. Currently, we've just begun micro-credentialing opportunities, also known as badges. Um, some are going to come from us here. We've got our first one is applied social media marketing uh, micro-credential. All the others shown on this screen are available from third parties. And these are concrete evidence of your skills. It, it's not that you just took a class. You had to earn this. And some of them involve exams. Some of them involve projects or a combination of things. And it's concrete evidence for employers of what you can do. And um, it can be added to your online resume, to your LinkedIn, your Facebook, your email signature. Um, it's, it's a really great motivation, a motivational tool for students and um, valuable uh, evidence of your work. Uh, to uh, connect with us, the best way is probably through our admin assistant, Paula Earp. Her phone number here is here, 455-2852. And of course, the CTC website has additional information about our program. Um, and uh, all of our full-time faculty, myself, uh, Jean Husenbell, and also Mark Young and Andy Enger, we're all happy to advise you. And uh, it's probably best if you connect with one, with, um, one of us through Paula, uh, particularly if you do have any um, desire to go on to a four-year degree because that really does take some uh, careful planning. And I thank you for your um, interest and your time. Thank you. Thanks, Jean. Mm -hmm. Last but certainly not least is John George. He is with our Fire Science Program. And I'm going to take this quick moment to interrupt and say that this is your guys' official five-minute warning. Thank you, panelists. All right, five minute warning. So I'm the closer. So I always like to say we've got the hottest degree in Fairbanks. I'm John George. I'm a professor of fire science at UAF. Uh, we have an associate's degree of applied science in municipal firefighting. And what's nice about our program is it combines certifications that will get you employment like EMT and Firefighter One, uh, along with the knowledge to make you a top candidate or any position anywhere in the state, or for that matter, across the nation. Uh, probably one of the most defining things that UAF has to offer over other programs is the opportunity for real world hands-on experience. Uh, you'll see the fire in the background behind me. Um, 
about 20 some odd years ago, I put that fire out as a student firefighter responding from our campus. And that's what makes us different is UAF actually has a campus fire department that pays students an hourly wage. Uh, they drive the fire trucks, they're the medics and the ambulance. They respond to all natures of emergencies, both on our campus and about 26 square miles surrounding our campus. And again, you get paid while you go to school. Uh, I believe that starts at about $24,000 a year. We also have neighboring fire departments that are industry partners with us that offer scholarship reimbursement programs where you live at the fire stations for free, pull shifts as a firefighter, and in exchange, they'll reimburse you up to $6,900 per semester, and that's with that free housing. And so those are just some of the opportunities that uh, our fire science program has to offer. Uh, it makes us unique. And uh, if you're interested in something like that, please reach out to me. My email is jgeorge at alaska.edu. And I'd love to tell you more about that. Or you can go on to the University Fire Department's website. I just Google UFD uh, Fairbanks or the Steese Fire Department, that's Steese, S-T-E-E-S-E, -E -E, Fire Department, or China Goldstream Fire and Resca, Rescue. China is C-H-E-N-A, uh, China Goldstream Fire and Rescue. So hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Thanks, John. Alexis, did you want to wrap up? I guess not. Well, thank you all for being here. And um, as several of our presenters said, please reach out to us via um, our, our phone, our main phone number, which is 907-455-2800, or our website, which is uaf. I'm sorry, ctc.uaf.edu. Thank you, panelists, and thank you all students who are able to join today. I do want to let you know that there is a quick survey that's going to come up once this uh, closes out. Um, just a quick four question. Also, this is not the only session that's being offered today. So if you'd like to schedule more sessions, please visit strivescan.com forward slash Alaska. And of course, this recording will be available at that same web address. Thank you so much and have a nice evening. Thank you. Thanks.